Alright everyone, hello and welcome back to the channel. It has been a while, hasn't it? It's been a little bit. Um, if you want to know about why I've been gone or where I've been, I did a QA and a yesterday. There was a question about that, feel free to check it out. But anyway, today we're going to be coming back with Panich at the Parkour, which I think that's how you pronounce it, Panich. It does have the little squiggly above the C. And each of the parkour. I, I don't really know. It's supposed to be the last name of Noxite, the guy who made MCC. Anyway, well, owner of Nox Group. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're going to be doing this. If you want to play this for yourself, it is actually... Oh, this is cool, actually. You walk into the disco. And everyone's here. And the music starts playing. It's really cool. Um, Not the side. Anyway, yeah, there's a jukebox here as well. You can change music. Um, If I was an adventure. Oh, I am. Okay, you can change music, it's really cool. Anyway, this is on a server called the CC SMP, which if you don't know, uh, it's the uh, Crashing Champions SMP, and it's something that I'm part of. I actually kind of made it, along with Mike, your Mikester from the Blue Bats, and Nika Colas from the Red Rabbits in MCC Rising. It was a lot of work, and the whole uh, thing behind it is anyone who is currently or was previously in MCC uh, is invited. They're already whitelisted on the server. They can join whenever they want. And it's just, yeah, they can, they can, they can play and have fun, you know, play mini games or play on the, on the SMP side of the server. It's just a normal survival world. But yeah, um, if you do want to play this for yourself, unfortunately, this is on a SMP. It's invite only. Again, it's just the MCC people. But this specific course, the Panich at the Parkour course, is on, uh, I think, Minecraft Maps and Planet Minecraft. Um, Mike uploaded it, and the link to download it will be in the description. So, if you do want to play for yourself, feel free to. Unfortunately, it's missing some of the nice stuff um, that you get on the server, like a timer, and these reset buttons, and cancel buttons. It doesn't have those, I don't think. Um, but... There are reset zones, so if you fall, you will get reset like that. Totally fell just, just to demonstrate that that works and not because I messed the jump. It, it's fine. Uh, anyway, yeah. I'm going to be trying to beat my time, which is 15 minutes and 1 second. That's the goal of today's video. Beat this parkour course in less than 15 minutes. Now, if you've seen MCC... You will know, well, if you've seen Parkour Warrior in MTC, you will know it's designed to be very difficult. It's designed to not be beat. Um, some people do beat it, like Dream and Illumina and CPK. Um, some people will beat it in like 10 minutes, 5 minutes. It's crazy. Um, but generally, it's not supposed to really be beaten. And Mike built this entire course, I think, maybe with a little bit of help with, from Nico. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, Mike built the majority of it, definitely. I helped a little bit of the commands. Um, oh, I cannot make this jump. It's really difficult. And it's heavily, heavily based off of Parkour Warrior. And it's very, very difficult. It's maybe even more difficult than Parkour Warrior. Um, and so far, you may be thinking, it doesn't look too difficult. Um, it's been fine so far. It's only taken me two and a half minutes to get here. Checkpoint 9 already. There's 22 checkpoints, I believe. Um, but it, it gets very, very difficult. Um, half of Parkour Warrior isn't really too difficult, really. It's it's the later levels that it really gets tough, and this one is is exactly the same. It's very, very difficult. Now, if you do decide... That's frustrating. If you do decide to play this for yourself, you might want to uh, destroy all the armor stands in there. I don't know if they're actually there. I've not played on the... The downloadable map version but if they are you might want to destroy all of, all of those because they give really bad fp as you can see right there i'm currently at 50 when usually i'm at over 100 140 usually it's not great um but yeah it's it's it is what it is uh it looks nice if enough people complain that we might remove them we'll see but yeah it's fine for now oh now uh, believe it or not, this is actually a really slow pace. I've been going super slow um, because I've been I've been focusing on talking and not so much on on making the jumps. But 
Okay, I, I should probably I should focus a little more now. Um, try to actually get a decent time. The problem is uh, when you get to the last three levels, the difficulty spike is insane. It gets really, really difficult. You can spend just so much time on one level and it could ruin the entire run. And even though I have beat this in 15 minutes, there's people who spend an hour on just one level. Um, I know the first time Mike did this, his time, he got to the very last checkpoint and then I think his game crashed, so he never actually managed to complete it. But I think his time before the game crash was about 460, 470 minutes. Which is a lot of hours. It's it's kind of crazy. That's what, six, seven, maybe eight hours almost? I don't know. I'm not that quick at maths. But it's a lot of time to spend on one parkour course. Um, and Mike isn't terrible at parkour or anything. It's just very, very difficult. Um, so if you do decide to play this for yourself, good luck. It is very difficult. Um, but hey, maybe you're amazing at parkour and you'll complete it in five minutes. It's it's definitely possible. I didn't mean to restart then. That was an accident. That was... Oh, that was an accident. That is annoying. <laughs> oh, this, this, this level's kind of tough as well. Okay. That sucks. Anyway. I'm sure if... I'm sure if Dream or Illumina or CPK um, were to try this course, they could beat it in about five minutes with practice. I don't I don't think they're just going to get on and instantly do it. I think it will take some time to get used to all the jumps and stuff, but with enough practice, I believe they could do it. Now, could I get five minutes? I don't know. I've practiced this course a lot and the best I've done is 15 minutes, 15 point, well, 15 minutes and one second. There we go, finally. This level's very hard as well because it has one jump that is super, super difficult. It's this head jump in a second after this one. What? Oh. Okay, it would have been the next jump is is very, very difficult. Oh man, it sucks, but yeah. Um, I, my, my best time, this one, my best time is 15 minutes. Oh, I made it first try. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty nice. Make it. Thank you. And there we go. Okay. This isn't my first time running this, obviously. I mean, I keep saying how I've beat it in 15 minutes. Um, so to me, it's all not new. I'm not looking around much at all the decorations, but you might have seen already. There's some pretty cool looking decorations. <laughs> like right now we're in a music theme. Uh, you know, we've got a, a flute here, I think it is, or a piccolo, one of them. We've got a guitar there, a microphone. I think that's a microphone. Maybe. I don't know. But it's very cool. I like it. Oh, there we go. I don't... I don't know if this map is multiplayer compatible. If you do decide to download it, but... Hey, why not try it? Oh, come on. There's a block above my head there, trap door, so it's really difficult. There's a there's a lot of those jumps coming up. Head hitters, where you hit your head if you jump too early. Man. This is a terrible run, by the way. Um, as far as my time goes. Usually around here I'd be on about five minutes, maybe? Currently almost three minutes behind that pace. So yeah, there's a trap door there. I need to jump at the very edge. And sometimes you just don't jump in time. Sometimes you just run off the edge of the block. It happens. Yeah, the goal for this video, I can't remember if I said, I think I did, is to beat my record, um, which does mean beating it in less than 15 minutes. Don't know if I will or not. If I will be able to do that in this video. But we're going to try. Uh, nobody else is on the server. That's fine. Nobody else is loading chunks and lagging the server. I have no excuses. But that's okay. Now, right here, there is... A small little cheat you can do. It's not really a cheat. It's a very difficult jump to skip. Like three easy-ish jumps. You can jump backwards onto there. Onto that block. And then jump over to the end. But I'm I'm probably not going to do that right now. Just go here. Oh, that was the last jump. That right there that I just fell on was the last jump. That is painful. But anyway. 
Chapter 15. We're making decent progress. We're getting through it. Oh man, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. But, again, the time is just not great. It's, it's not a good run right now. Because, like, I am over halfway through the course. And it seems like a good time, but the difficulty spike, it's insane. The last two levels especially, very, very difficult. And the last jump is probably the second hardest I've ever seen. Um, the f first being a, I think it was a double, a double diagonal Neo, which is very, very difficult. <laughs> I think a triple diagonal Neo is possible, but I I I can't imagine being able to do that. It sound it seemed like I couldn't even do a double diagonal Neo. So triple one, insane. If you have no idea what a Neo is or what I'm talking about, sorry, I'll stop. <laughs> I'll stop talking about those. Anyway, we did manage to make it through that checkpoint, which is a is a difficult one. It does take a while to get used to that kind of jump. But it, it's good to get used to that kind of jump. The, one, the ones where you hit your head like that, because there's so much coming up where you hit your head like that. Especially the very last level, which is a salmon ladder. If you don't know what a salmon ladder is, is you'll see. It's awful. Um, it's very difficult, and it's in MCC as the final level. But hey, we gotta do it. We gotta do it to get that time. And I have done it so many times to get bad times. Times, times, times. Um, you might be wondering why I have a minimap in the top right. This is a a fabric client, which is a mod loader. I have a bunch of client side mods, and just to make the game look nicer and perform better, I say that while getting 120 FPS, which is a lot, I know, but it's not amazing. Ah, server's a bit laggy. <laughs> That's fine. But yeah, um. You might have noticed certain textures look different, like the grass there looks kind of fancy, it's kind of faded into the sand. Um, and the trapdoors right there. Resource packs and mods all coming together to make a nice Minecraft. And I, I think I've got a nice selection of mods. Maybe I'll show them off one day if enough people care. That sucked. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> we are slowly, slowly, slowly making it through. We're at 11 and a half minutes so far, and we're going in, going into the second to last section, checkpoint 18. This is Atlantis. Um, I do want to look around, but at the same time, I don't want to waste too much time, because beating my record right now is still possible, even though I'm at 12 minutes already. Only three minutes left to beat four levels, four of the hardest levels. It's not going to happen, but it's not impossible. So yeah, uh, this is the Atlantis section. It's underwater, and... I, I can't really look around much. But yeah, it's it's fancy. It looks cool. It's nice. The last section is a volcano section. You'll see that shortly, hopefully, if I don't fail a million times on the upcoming jumps. This level usually isn't too bad. It's the one after this, which I... I don't know. Sometimes... This one. Checkpoint 20. Sometimes I do fine on it. Sometimes I complete it in 30 seconds. Sometimes I spend 5 minutes on it. Because I, I don't know why, actually. Sometimes it's just really difficult. Um, maybe it's the pressure of being so close to the end. Um, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Sometimes I just mess up. It's really quite annoying. Ah, oh, this killed so many runs for me. I think my best run I've got here in like seven minutes, maybe eight. I I I don't know. And then I I spend like five minutes here and I, I ended up with a terrible time. I just gave up at the end. Ah, oh, it was awful. But let's hope that doesn't happen uh, again. I'm not doing insanely well too uh, so far. But let's try and focus a little more until they make these jumps. It is kind of just the same jump over and over. But it's a difficult jump. You know, strafing around these glass panes while on a ladder jumping onto another ladder it's ah, oh, it's it's mm, it's difficult i can usually get this first one really well and then 
the ones after this I struggle on because of the direction I think I'm fine at strafing you know that way around like around that way but if going this way is difficult if you know what I mean by this way and that way Ooh. and then there's a head hitter so you gotta jump over to that like that and then there's a trap door in the way so you kind of can't back up as much as you would like to but I made it and then there's one last one to do come on please yes I made it and we're up there we go man 14 minutes 20 seconds we're going into the volcano it's not a good time I'm not gonna beat my record but this is the last section this is no the last few levels there's these oh, gold pillars that I need to beat and then come on and then there's the uh well you'll see what it is I don't know how to explain it it's kind of pixel perfect jumps uh, and then there's salmon ladder which is the worst thing in the world I, I I don't like whoever invented the salmon ladder it's it's too difficult <laughs> it's not fun to repeat it's fine to do once and then when you gotta do it again it's just like oh really I gotta do it again <sighs> and speaking of doing it again I haven't beat 15 minutes, so, man, I'm struggling. Um, I, I will have to do this entire course again if I do want to beat the 15 minute score. Uh, time. Time, yes. Um, And I, I will be doing that right after I give this last little bit a good go. I want to I wanna see what I can do without the pressure. Without the pressure of trying to beat 15 minutes. Um, just, man, it... it <laughs> It really makes it more difficult when you're trying to think of things to say for YouTube and also doing parkour. Why well, I've been messing up my words so much. Also, I'm out of practice. I've not made a YouTube video in like three months. I've... Oh. I like to think that in the three month break, or however long it was, maybe four, I don't... It's been a while. I'm sorry, guys. It's been so long. But yeah, in, in the, the time that I wasn't making videos, I like to think that I've gotten better at Minecraft. Um, I played in MTC. I gave a mediocre performance. I could have done a lot better, especially now, I think. I made that one. Okay, this one is really difficult. Got to do some lineups. Um, a lot of people like to use F3 and look at the angle. I'm not going to do that. I, I just I think I know the angles. Yeah, there's one. And there's a four across jump, and then this one where you need to land on that trap door. Not that one. That one. But it's also a four across jump, so it's insanely difficult. Let's get close to the edge, but not at the very edge, and then... Whoop. So what happened there is I hit that trap door and just missed the jump. It's very difficult to get the distance and avoid that trap door. Definitely possible. But definitely hard. There we go. There's the first jump. There's the second jump. Come on. I didn't jump. You have to jump so late on a four block jump. It's insane. But then I just didn't jump. Because I, I was trying to jump too late. I guess. I don't know. Come on. This one does take a long time. I said earlier. It's the last few levels that are the worst. Uh, this one is definitely one of the hardest ones. I feel like this course has a very good stage progression. Like, the last level is the hardest, I, in my opinion. Some people disagree. Uh, the second to last, which is this one, is the second to hardest. Um, come on, get on the trap door. Go down, please. There we go. Um, yeah, I think it's, it's, it's laid out really well. Okay, so if you don't know what I'm doing here, I'm getting as close as I can to that corner and looking a tiny bit to the right and pressing forward so I just drop down onto this trapdoor just a tiny little bit and then I line up my camera to make the jump and I jump and it just works. It's just lineups. Um, it takes a while but it's almost impossible to do it without a lineup. You, you definitely can. Um, if you if you really get used to the jump, but it's it's very very hard to do without a lineup. Very very hard. Okay, and 
I hit my shoulder on the chain. Now I have to do the whole thing again, which is just fantastic. Ah. Okay, we have made it back here. And to the last jump, well, I guess the second to last jump, technically. But the last one isn't difficult. That one to there. Not very difficult at all. This one is the difficult one. Please make it. Yes, 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 don't mess up. Okay, now it is possible to just run off the edge there. Hopefully I don't do that. Well, I'm not going to do that, I know, because I just got a checkpoint. There we go. Um, but yeah, there's a checkpoint. There's the last checkpoint. And then the very last level is the salmon ladder, which I have gotten a lot better at. It's awful still, but I have gotten a lot better at it. It's not nearly as bad as it used to be. I used to struggle on every single jump, but now it's... I, I don't know. I just go for it, and I somehow sometimes make it. Like, I just do this. I just go as fast as I can, basically. And it works out every now and then. I just make it to the top. Um, I have noticed if I try to take my time on the jumps as, and, you know, and be as careful as possible and try to jump at the very edge of the blocks, I do worse. Like, the more I focus on it, the the harder it is. It's, it's very weird, but it seems to be how it is. And I'm kind of glad, because if I... If I, you know, do every single jump really carefully, it takes a very long time, which is bad for a speedrun. But if I'm just running and jumping through it like this, and then I, I make it to the top, it's it's so much easier, so much faster. It's it's really nice. Um, and if you're thinking this just looks like normal jumps, it's it's fine. Um, try it for yourself. It's it's very very difficult. Um, the whole gimmick is of this is there's trapdoors above my head as well as below. Ah, so if I were to jump here, you can see there's a trapdoor there. If I jump, I hit my head on it, so I need to jump at the very edge of the block. Which isn't... It's not the hardest thing in the world, sure. But when you do 20 of them in a row, you know, you can see how tall this is. Uh, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... 13. It's about 20 jumps. It's a lot. Um... And, and just doing them all in a row without failing once. Very difficult. Very, very difficult. I apologise if you can hear any background noise. Ah, oh, alright. You can see by the time how long I've spent on this. I have no idea. I don't know when I started. But I'm at 28 minutes now. It's awful. I, I, oh, it's so annoying. <laughs> to fall. To get so far into the fall. But then we have this last jump. Which is another head hitter. If you jump too early, you hit your head. But it's also, you gotta land in there when there's trap doors on either side of the block. Which means you have a, I think it's a 0 0.0125 or 0 0.125 uh, amount of wiggle room when it comes to block coordinates. Like if you can see when I move left and right here on the X axis, it says 55.300. If I move a little bit, it says 55.487. That's 0. Point, I think 125 or 0. 0.0125. I'm not sure. It's one of those. You gotta land in that, and it's awful. And I'm definitely gonna miss this. Yeah. And if you if you miss it, then you fall all the well, it, you can fall all the way down to the bottom. Um and if you do miss it, then you have to do two of these jumps again. Um oh, somehow I'm making them every time, but I made it. I, <laughs> I, I made it on like the fifth attempt. That's insane. Oh, I have made that on the didn't mean to reload traders. I have made that on the very first attempt once before. It's on Twitter. There's a video of it, but on like the what was that? The fifth, sixth, seventh attempt. That is insane. Usually it takes 10, 15, 20 attempts. But there we go. My time, twenty nine minutes thirty five seconds. Not great. Uh, that is that is not great. I'm gonna try to go again, get a better time. You can see right here. I forgot to show this off. My my time on the leaderboard, 50 minutes one second. Nobody else is actually on the leaderboard because nobody else has beat it yet. So hopefully, people come on and start beating it. Yeah, TPK, come on the server and beat it, please. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm gonna try to go again. Get a better time, a much better time. Hopefully, less than 15 minutes. We'll see what happens. Oh, 
okay, 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 this is it. This, well, it could be it. I have... Oh, I, I'm so nervous right now. I'm so, I, I've am I'm been holding my breath for so long. Oh, just doing that last level at 10 minutes was insane. <laughs> I have three minutes currently to beat the Salmon Ladder level. And I, I don't know if I can do it. I've, uh, I've, I've tried so, so many times. If I fail now, like this, uh, I, uh, I've been recording for way too long. I need to record another video today as well. If I fail now, I, I, I think I'm gonna have to give up. Which doesn't mean the end, because I, I probably will be streaming this. The server, man, this is annoying. Come on, just make the jumps. Sorry. I probably will be streaming the server over on twitch.tv slash stemister at some point and I definitely will be doing this parkour if I do decide to stream come on ah this is so frustrating I'm, I'm really not trying to rush or anything and it's not the nerves getting to me it's just very very difficult Golemel is online by the way earlier he said chipotle in chat I don't know why just did okay come on I got two minutes left. Come on. <clears throat> it's such a difficult area. If if I don't make it, it's just because it's hard. I'm not nervous or anything. I'm not panicking. It's just very, very difficult. Especially the last jump. Come on. That was the last jump. That was the last. That was the last jump. Oh, oh. oh. It, it's not gonna happen. It's just not. And there it goes. That was my last attempt. And there's 15 minutes. It's so frustrating. Going all this way, doing all those jumps, all that difficult parkour, and then you get to a salmon ladder, and it's just the most annoying thing in the world. Just, you get so far. I got to the second to last jump. Man, that checkpoint's bright. I got to that jump right there, I think. And I messed up. It's so frustrating. I, I, I can't, I can't do it again. I, I'm gonna have to either leave this for another day, or just stream it, live stream it at some point. I, I, I just can't right now. I need to record another video. It's so annoying though, man. That sucks. If you liked my pain, my struggling, be sure to like. If you really liked and want to see more like this, be sure to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching and see ya.